Hello again folks, uh, AD again, uh, looking at my Eco 18A uh, Tivoli uh, electronic organ. Uh, I've got it apart, this is pretty much five, mi five minutes down the line from what you saw earlier. Now, I found a few little things wrong with it, the power cut in and out, uh, you, you could be playing along with it, having a fiddle, and then or nothing, just absolutely nothing. And um, what I've found to be the problem is quite obvious. Here's the fuse. Look at that. You've got all that corrosion on there. See the little spring inside the fuse? That's a slow blow fuse. Right, so that will get that will light up like a almost like a light filament. What well, it basically is, isn't it? So uh and then if there's too much it blows. Now that was in this little fuse holder here. And if I get my screwdriver, I should be able to show you what's happened. Get out of the way, you. Where's my screwdriver? There it is. This metal work in here is absolutely, it's just, it, it, that's all collapsed. As soon as I took the fuse out, look. See, it's all rotten. So I need to re-solder a new fuse holder in there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is undo that screw and that screw. I think that's it. There's a third screw there and the back of this PCB slides into a, a groove so I can basically sort of pull it out and twist it up. So I need to find out which solder joints on the rear of this where they go to. I think it's these two because they go into the transformer and then out of the transformer back to the board to do all the rest of the gubbins. So yeah, I need to find out Where's the live feed in? This is the black cable, that's the live in. There's a neutral, so that goes to that neutral post there. And the live goes, like I say, onto the back of that PCB <laughs> there. So that's why I need to turn it over, so I need to see what's what. So I'm not just going to hardwire it, I'm still going to put an inline fuse in there. Um, this is, a, I think it's a 0. Point, it does say on this somewhere, look, 0. 0.1 amp fuse. And I have some, believe it or not, in my um, box of plenty of fuses. So that's that was one thing I saw with it straight away. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yes, if you watch back on uh, the first episode of this video of this uh, organ restoration, uh, rewind it to the start of where I was playing with this bit because as I go like this, there was a spider there, and it legs it all the way down there under the keys. And uh, I showed it back to the wife, and she really wasn't very happy about it. <laughs> so, yeah, just whip back onto onto that one and have a look at that spider. Uh, right, next thing to do, I, I'm going to get my Hoover out, literally, and suck up all this dust. Um, I want to get these keys out because that's proper skanky down in there. Can't really see it with this like that. It's really manky. Some of the keys are quite sticky. They were sticking earlier. I've had me super wipes on there obviously I've done these first few that you can see but the rest of them are skank mongus and they, they are some of them are really pretty pretty sticky so in order to get these row of keys out I need to release where is it there's a screw there and so on screw um, screw and so on all the way down there so but with that I think this is just going to lift out and slide forward but I'm going to lose all of those springs out of those little holders at the same time. So that's going to be an absolute flipping pig, isn't it, to get that back in there. If you know a way of getting these keys out without taking those screws out and removing the whole plate, please let me know. That will save me an awful lot of grief, won't it? Right, what else did I notice in there? Very dry, very dry joints there, quite a bit of corrosion on, so that's going to cause um, resistance and interference so i need to get some sort of fluid on there just that set that's got a slot in there and that, and that sets <laughs> please forgive please, don't rewind and listen to that again that's sick <laughs> bless her oh dear doctor Doctors for your Monday, love. <laughs> 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 I 
It's uh, almost funny, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, flipping egg. Ooh. Yes, that's fruity. Okay. What else did I notice? Yeah, basically, there's bits of corrosion. Like, oh, these little chips that are just wedged in there. They're great, aren't they? That was a bit corros corroded. Um, i say that. That's shot. And all these up here, they're all pretty much the same. Now, I don't want to disturb that setting. So, I'm just going to squirt them a little bit. I might tweak them round and then back. Mark. Put a little bit of a marker pen on there, on there, so I know exactly where they're supposed to be. Um, and do that to those as well. And I want to take these switches out because one of these don't do anything at all. I can't remember which one it was. And when we when, when I played the keyboard earlier, the first three buttons, I think it's something like... What is it? <clears throat> oh, let's get around the front. String and bass and... No, not those ones. Yeah, the... What is it? The flute, the string and the brass all sounded the same, didn't they? There wasn't really a lot of difference there, so something's going on on this panel. Uh, righto. All the soldering joints are proper soldered. It's it's solid. It's a good bit of kit. Don't make them like this anymore, do they? So, I see that's getting stuck on that loose veneer. Yeah, right. I just think they might need a good clean inside. Right, I'm going to hold that there and then come back with with me other findings. Okie cokey, thank you for looking. Howdy doody, welcome back. Um, I've been really inspecting this closely before I take these keys out of it. Because some of these keys didn't work. And this one specifically didn't work. Can you see why? There's no spring on on there, is there? It's down on the deck there. So I need to lift, where are we? Very gently, I need to lift that spring up and over, like that, and then down and under. There! Now we have a responsive spring touching that rod in the right place. So that's why that key all worked. This is brilliant, isn't it? Well, I think all the rest are okay now. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, to be... Oh, no, no, no. we got one here, look. Which one's that? Another one there, look. That's off. That spring's off of its thing. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that off camera in a sec. That one's okay. Yeah, they're okay, they're okay. That's okay, that's okay. Running along. Good, so there was just two keys that were off. Where is it? There. Right, catching a bit. All right, I'm back again. I have taken out this scabby old. You can see that the pegs that held the fuse in literally rotten, completely rotten away. There's one bit of it there. So, yeah, I unsoldered it from the back of this PCB and I resoldered in an inline fuse. So that's that sorted out. <clears throat> now I'm gonna got some lube. I'm just gonna squirt these contacts, these three sliders, because the fading is very it's either on or off. There's no there's no sort of up and down motion on there. And give these switches a good clean out and see what I can do with these as well. And that one and that you know, see how I get on with it really. You can't be playing with your organ, can you really? I'm a good old fetter with a good old play and a tinker around and uh you know, make, making it hot and that and stuff. So, yeah, um, there we go. Got me flux, and me solder. There's me solder iron, and there's me tea. <laughs> right, I'm gonna crack on and then see if we can get some tunes out of it in a bit. Not that I can play at all. But, uh, I'm thinking Gary Newman, Tubey Army. What do you reckon? Okay, right. Let's crack on. Right, as you can see, uh, my organ is back in, back in one piece now. So, uh, yes, I had insects running over my org organ at 7, 7.37. Thanks for spotting that, guys. Uh, right, let's uh, plug them in. Incidentally, it needs a new plug on it. This is the old-style plug, look, which hasn't got the plastic on the live and neutral up to the end there. 
so you could technically plug it in and still touch a live prong on there. But there we are, that'll do for the time being. Right, let's have a look. Power. We have power. Do we have notes? A bit of volume on that. Oh, let's uh, try the. I'll, pre I'll press a key. Well, that's a plus, isn't it? So that works. Okay. Right, so let's see if these all work now. Uh, slow, slow rock. How does that work? Oops. Ah, <laughs> volume was down. Oh, Joey Deacon. Right, so we have. Safely say that works, can't we? Okay. there aren't we really I'm happy with that right I've just got to chase that spider out of there now and uh, we've got we've got we've got a tappy we've got a tappy foot going on here and it's not my foot that's good well, I'm really happy with that Few hours work, bit of a squirt, bit of lube. Oh, I've done the fuse, three sort of just saw. And uh, all I've got to do now is learn to play the bloody thing. Right, any requests, dedications, uh, drop a comment down below and I'll see what I can knock up for you. Okay, cheers guys, thanks for looking. Uh, a big thumbs up for that one.